The National Student Financial Aid Scheme, NSFAS, has officially opened applications for funding for the 2018 academic year. The launch was held in partnership with the National Youth Development Agency, which is the NYDA, and uh, the NYDA also also provide over 100 centers uh, across the country to assist with applications. Prospective students can apply on the NSFAS website or they can visit any NYDA offices. We look into the application process, of course, and the changes that comes with uh, this year's application process. I'm joined in our series in Johannesburg by the acting CEO at NSFAS, Lerato Nachendatenache. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for coming through. Good morning, Palisa, and the viewers at home, and thank you for inviting me into the studio. Thank you so much. This is quite a, a critical issue of funding. But is, I was actually um, looking at your system that just a few hours in, into the opening of the process, pros prospective students had already started, you know, um, making the applications. Yeah, yeah. We've worked very hard um, this year since the beginning of the financial year or academic year for 2017. We've worked on our system. Uh, we officially launched the August or 2018 application cycle on the 1st of August in Heidelberg at Rotunda location at one of the youth local offices there. Mm. And we were joined by 40 learners who successfully applied for, mm. for, for funding and now they'll be sent over for evaluation. Yeah, and we've learned that you've actually gone to make it a little bit more easier than the 11-page application form that we had to fill in. It's gone yes, down yes, to just yes. two pages now. Um, yeah, on my hand here, I have this simplified form. Okay. You can see just two pages. Um, and this, these are one of the learnings that we took from the 2017 application cycle because we listened to, to the learners, to mm. the students. And the process of compiling this form, rather, was we, we went to the grade 9, grade 12 learners. We asked them to fill it out, the form, with the old form. Mm -hmm. They complained about the 11-page form that was long, clunky, mm. very difficult to understand. Very, very, yeah. Yeah. And, and this has made it easier. I mean, just as a way of a stat, as of last night, at around 9 p.m., we had plus minus 7,000 accounts created because mm. when you apply online, you need to create an account. An account. And we had 1,115 applicants successfully completed. I mean, mm. that, that's quite magnificent. All it right. means that the, the work that we have done over a period of six months is really beginning to bear fruit. But on the other hand, it also shows how stranded the prospective students are for finances. Yes, it yeah. does. That is why for us, we understood that it cannot be that when prospective students are struggling for finance, and then we make it difficult for mm -hmm. them to apply mm -hmm. for them. Yeah. We need it All to, right, so this is yeah. the manual form. This is the but manual the electronic form, form is, is, it, the same. Is, it, is it the same thing? And that's okay. the difference from last year. What you see here is the same as what you're going to find on, on the online. And at the back of this form, we've got details for the different NYDA offices okay. across the country. Mm -hmm. And we also have 100 yo local youth offices across the country that NYDA is supporting us with. All right, because I wanted to come to the issue of funding that mainly keep up with rural areas who, who are in need of funding. So yeah. those NYDA officers, I would believe that some of them are in your deep rural areas. Deep rural areas, we've partnered with the municipalities. And we, we are saying NESFAS is not an office that is located mm -hmm. somewhere. NESFAS is all over the country and the youth must find it easier. So we are targeting the learners, obviously the grade yeah. 12, grade 9, those who want to go to TVET, the unemployed, those who are studying at either TVET college or university, but they have not received funding from mm -hmm. NESFAS. Okay. We are urging them to please, please do not wait till the last week of November mm -hmm. to start applying. The application cycle is open from the 1st of August up until the 30th of November. That's plus minus 122 days where we are allowing our learners. Mm -hmm. And the beauty about this, you've mentioned the rural areas, is that at the youth local offices, Prospective students can come in, fill in this form, and drop it off, and they receive an acknowledgement of receipt card. Because right. so we are saying, if you can't prove it, then you have not applied. All right. So yeah. that's within municipalities. That's they within can go to the different municipal yeah. offices. But then, how does it work now? Is it are we done with the days whereby um, uh, students could only get NSFs once registered with institutions of higher learning? Is it what you're doing away with now? They can start applying now, even before they admitted. Yes, that has always been the process. So what we do is that the student will create an account. That's the first step. 
we'll fill in the form, we'll send them over for, for, um, for an assessment in terms of the evaluation. And just to assist the learners at home, when you complete this form, what we're asking for is five things. Certified copy of ID of a prospective student, mm -hmm. certified copy of the parent, proof of income of the parent, consent signed, consent form signed by the parent, and an affidavit where there's no parent but there's a guardian. So we are requesting a very small number of documentation because we'll do multiple checks in our system at the back. And then the student, if they're successful, they're academically deserving and they move forward in terms of funding, and then we will send them notification that we have pre-funded them. Okay. In other words, we are asking them to say, we've allocated funding against you or your name and the university that you're going to. Please now do go to that university and confirm your registration. It's only after the university will say that we've admitted Leratonache to study in the Faculty of the Sciences, then we will now officially fund Release the funds. Okay, so now that the application process is open, what happens to uh, the current uh, loan holders? Do they need to reapply for 2018 or is it an automatic... Um no, no. That, 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 thanks. You know, that's a very important question because last year we had those issues. So for, for the students of 2017, for both Tivet colleges and universities, mm -hmm. I would like to urge them to please do not apply okay. for funding. What we require from you or your, pros or your respective institution is just your academic results. Okay. That's all we need. And that's first system says it's N plus two. In other words, if your degree is three years, we are saying we'll sponsor you for three years plus an additional two years. Oh. So if a student has progressed based on what we require them for, in other words, they must have passed at least 50% mm. of the module that they are registered for, and then we can fund them. So please... Do not apply. We We've provide. got your details. Yeah. We know your needs. All right. Just a quick one on this one. We know that uh, there were some university students who were complaining that uh, they had not received food, travel, and accommodation allowances yeah. months after academic year had started. What is happening in that uh, case? Yeah. So maybe this is also an opportunity just to, you know, just to um, tell the viewers at home. Just a quick one on that. We've actually yeah. run out of time. Yeah. yeah is that uh, we receive a registration data from the institutions and then after that we create what we call loan agreement forms or schedule of particulars and then we can send the, the allowances to, to, um, to the students. But with other institutions, they actually do disperse the allowances themselves. So we just need to generate the loan agreement forms after we've received the registration data from the different institutions. All right, and Adenaka, we'll leave it at that. There's always so much to talk about, but we'll yeah. leave it at that for now. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much, Felicia. Thank you very much. Lerato yes. Nache is the acting CEO from the National Student Financial Aid Scheme, talking to us about uh, the uh, official opening of applications for the funding for 2018. You can apply now until the 30th of November. Let's.